Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Car Review. Today we are looking at a new Synchro, and uh, it's another main character dragon. I know, I know, it's been a while, Five Ds, but uh, yeah, this is actually the uh, boss monster for the character Yugo in Arc Five. Yeah, I know. They're they're just using up all the U names. All right, there's Yuya, then there's his like alternate dimension XC version, which is U To, then the synchro alternate version is U Go, and then the girl's name is Yu Zu, and his dad's name is Yu Sho, and you're just using up all the U names. You know, you're not gonna have any left for the you know the series after. Or is Arc Five the final series of uh, Yu Gi Oh? That's an interesting question. You know, because it seems like they're tying everything all together, like, oh, this is the fusion dimension, the XC dimension, the synchro dimension, you know? So, it'd be interesting to see, uh, you know, a different version of Yuya, because they, they have the same face, they have different hairstyles, crazy hairstyles, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! But, uh, you know, they all have the same facial structure, so it's kind of like an altered dimension. And they're like, oh, oh, my my chest feels hot whenever they summon, you know, their own dragon, so whether it be Odd Eyes or... Uh, Dark Rebellion Xyz or even Clear Wing Synchro Dragon here, you know, and they all have the same stats and you know they're different monsters. So, you know, one's an Xy, one's a Pendulum, one's a Synchro. So, I guess we need what fusion. It needs to be a fusion, and I don't think ritual. I don't think they're counting rituals in the show. I don't think they're counting rituals as their own dimension. So, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and look at Yugo's monster here. It's a, it's a synchro, yeah. It's a synchro dragon. So let's go ahead and uh, look at it and determine whether, you know, it's just another just TV show card that, you know, you shouldn't bother with or is it actually uh, do something. So this is Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. It is a win dragon synchro effect level 7. All right. 2500 attack, 2000 defense. Yep. Same generic main character stats. 2500 attack, 2000 defense. 2500 attack, 2000 defense. <laughs> It's a generic synchro, so one tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters, so generic, easily make it, just synchro 7, so. Uh, its effect is, once per turn during either player's turn, when another level 5 or higher monster on the field activates its effect, you can negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. Alright, so it's kind of like, uh, uh, like a safety hazard, kind of like a, a Steel Storm Roach, except it's like, it's like if you would take Steel Storm Roach, and trap tricks trap hole nightmare and put it together like that's what it is so you know no fire hard monster on the field activate its effect negate destroy it you know so uh that's not too terrible not too terrible it's a it's a nice free negation you know uh with the stats being 25 you know you may be able to bait out something in activating its effect the only problem is is that you know it being 25 it kind of ranges you know you know if a monster is you know Below its attack, and uh, how it's gonna do anything, but if it's you know higher, then it'll just run it over, you know. So, you know, it's like, oh, I can stop Scrap Dragon, you know, as I hope as long as you got some background to back it up, because you know, you probably can easily just summon a Scrap Dragon and run this guy over. So, you know, 25 minute attack is the attack barrier, so it's not too high, but it's not too, too low. So, there you go. But it has other effects too. All right, once per turn during either player's turn, all right, so this is a second effect also during a player's turn. When a monster effect is activated that targets exactly one level 5 or higher monster on the field, and no other cards, you can negate the activation if you do destroy it. Alright, so, uh, pretty much if something targets this or any other level 5 or higher monster, uh, you can just negate and destroy it. So, uh, of course, there's another uh, 7 generic synchro that, you know, does a target, that's of course Yazi. So, Yazi is 2600, and it can't be targeted by your opponent's card effects. This, on the other hand, can block from targeting once per turn. So. You know, if you go attack and your pill goes deeper, then you just be like, oh, well, no, this is only monster effects, actually. So, you know, that Yazid protects in target, period. So I'll trap one monster effect. This is only monster effect. So I guess if your opponent makes a 101 and tries to snatch you up, you'd be like, alright, negate, destroy it. So, uh, that's okay. You know, I wish it was just targeting, period, but nope, only monster effects. And it has, uh, one more effect. Uh, if this card destroys an opponent's monster by its own effect, it gains attack equal to destroyed monster's original attack until the end of this turn. So, um, you just gain the attack. So, uh, you know, let's say that, uh, you know, Yuto and Yugo were to duel each other, you know, uh, Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon, you know, they're both, they're, and this would both be 25, but, you know, Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon tries to use the and target and, you know, give him attack, you just be like, alright, attach, negate, destroy, and I'm gonna gain your attack, and then, 
then that's 5,000. So, yeah. That's not terrible. Well, it's only until you end the turn. In Dark Exceeds Valiant, it's only spell speed 1. So, you'd only gain the 5,000 during their turn, and then you would go back down to 25. But, you know, I can definitely see uh, how this could beat uh, uh, Yuto. Uh, Yugo's monster. I I'm getting them mixed up. It's, it's it's difficult. It's difficult. Like, oh my god. Like, why? Why? Why is Yuya so f different? You know? Like, Yugo and Yuto and Yubo and Yucho and Yuto and Yuka. Like, oh my god. You know? Who's next? Who's next? Alright, who's the fusion guy? Uh, you know? Ufo? <laughs> you know, can't be Yusho. That's, Yusho is his dad. You know? So, who could it possibly be? Yeah, I guess we'll find out if you actually watch the show, but you know, it's just interesting. So I definitely say, you know, if you got, if you are a synchroing deck and you got room, I say run it. You know, uh, you know, I'm glad that we're starting to get some nice, good six sevens because it used to be just black rows are bust. You know, it's just like, oh, I make black rows and and I make black rows. You know, Dark Strike Fighter was banned, but now he's back at one. If you want to run Dark Strike Fighter, there you go. Uh, of course, we got Yazi. I don't think Moonlight is TCG legal. I don't think so. But if he is, you got Moonlight. Um, and you got this. So you got some interesting sevens now. So, you know, just like you have the toolbox of eight synchros, now you got some sevens. You know, if you can make Michael, you got Michael. But not everybody can make Michael. But, you know, the generic six of sevens, uh, there you go. You got some good ones now. Uh, right now, if Moonlight's not legal, I'd say Black Rose, then... Yazi, then this, then Dark Shrek. Well, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark Shrek Photo is like fourth in my book now. I think that this guy's a little bit better. This guy's a little bit situational. You know what? This guy's a little bit situational. I probably have to give it to Dark Shrek Fighter. Because Dark Shrek Fighter can end games. I mean, despite, you know, his own, his, uh, his errata not being as good, you can still have just another monster on the field. Just and maybe has one tribute it, flick the damage, then just attack with Dark Shrek for game. This guy's in the hand. You know, really, if your opponent doesn't have level 5 or higher on the field, you know, it's not really doing much, just being a 25 beater, you know. So, I'm glad it has that nice second effect to when a monster effect targets it, because uh, if it didn't, then, you know, you would be, be like, oh, well, I can negate the, you know, activation of effect of level 5 or higher. Alright, make 101, take you, or make Castell spin you, so I'm glad it has that second effect. So, uh, there you go, but it's only protect from monster effects, not spells and traps, so, you know. And because, oh, Smash still doesn't target anyway, so, you know, you could just easily get this taken from you. That would be interesting. You know, unlike Stardust, it doesn't tribute itself, it just negates, so it's not like it'll, you know, your opponent will go like, alright, I'm gonna activate Stardust effect, negate, and then it would go right back to you. Like, no, no. So, uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think about Clearwing Synchro Dragon in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Car Review. I hope that you guys have a Merry Christmas. So thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to look out for card review. Alright, thanks for watching.